Well, since apparently it is impossible to find actual washing soda, sodium carbonate in the state of Tennessee, I brought some baking soda. We're going to sublimate this off, make some sodium carbonate, that's soda ash, washing soda, so we can make our caffeinol. And since I refuse to pay $10 for a little tiny bundle of firewood, we're going to be using the old butane stove. People probably think I'm cooking meth out here. You're goddamn right. And as I said, folks, I have an entire video, a little short video, on the making of this uh, sodium carbonate. Essentially, all you do, heat it up for about an hour, preferably in an oven. You can do it stovetop. Um, I really hate to do it that way here because I'm burning up a lot of butane. Essentially, I'm going to have to let this go for at least 30 minutes. They're on high heat. All you're doing is baking this off, baking the baking soda, turning it into that sodium carbonate. Very simple, but like I said, I hate to waste the butane, but we gotta do what we gotta do. And I'm gonna do it. This is actually coming along a lot faster than I thought it would. I actually had to turn the heat down. You can see, especially there at the bottom, see? All that coming up, it's literally boiling. And that is turning into good old sodium carbonate. I'll keep stirring this, probably turn the heat down some more. Yeah, by the way, this uh, little butane stove I've had for years been absolutely everywhere. I love you, little guy. So while our uh, sodium carbonate is finishing up, I'm going to mix up our fixer. This is just Arista Odorous Fixer, Freestyle Photo brand. I have one gallon of distilled water. This makes one gallon, so I figure it's very linear. I'll end up having to pour some of this water out, but I'm going to go ahead and pour the fixer in there, shake it up a little bit, and just let it sit, and then shake it up again because it may take a while to dissolve in this sucker, not being very warm. So I ended up pouring out just a little bit too much water. I'm going to go top it off with a faucet here right back. So our sodium bicarbonate is now sodium carbonate. It's difficult to tell on the video, but it turns into an extremely fine white powder. And you'll know it's done when you stir it and there's little to preferably no new bubbles. So yeah, this is done. I'm going to put the top on this, turn off the stove, let this cool down, and then bag it up. This is not the ideal place uh, or at least uh, climate to be doing this because it's extremely humid out and this stuff absorbs moisture like crazy so it's probably going to clump but hey that's showbiz baby guess what happened Winston's shutter malfunction again this old Packard number six just don't know folks I may end up uh, switching to just a straight over cover type of shutter where I cover up the lens uh, that's what I ended up having to do for most of the time today. That was a shutter. God bless him. Quit on me on the first holder. So if you know anything about the saga of me and this shutter, you'll know. It's an easy fix, but man, it is a tedious and slightly frustrating endeavor. Oh well. There you go, about a quarter pound of pure, pure sodium carbonate.
let's cook all right folks really quick do or die time i'm definitely gonna have to have another table i knew that anyway but yeah i've got the fixer sitting over here on the ground of course blue eddy power and the dark light caffeinol stop film it's hopefully soon going to be developed uh yeah i'm just going to do this and then hopefully show you the result after So I was planning on making one quick, I guess, half loop Blue Cage Cove again, cut across Sparks Lane, and then see if I get anything interesting with it uh, raining here. But when I pulled out of the campground, I noticed uh, there was a whole row of cars backed up. I saw a sign flashing Cage Cove loop closed. I don't know if maybe a tree came down near the storm last night or what. Uh, apparently it got kind of rough uh, from judging everything on the road. But I'm like, no, we're not doing that today. So I'm heading back down to Townsend, probably stop at the Artistic Bean, maybe. Get a cup of the Java. Uh, I considered heading towards the other way, heading towards Gatlinburg. Uh, there's a certain tree that I photographed years ago that reminds me of one of my favorite Ansel Adams photographs of all time. And since I have the 8x10 with me, Winston, even though it's raining, I thought maybe about wheeling over there, see if I uh, give it a go. I've already been there twice since I've been here. It had just been covered up with people uh, both times. Nowhere to park, and uh, I'm not gonna go down there taking pictures of that big antique camera with all those weirdos crawling around. Well, this is the tree. Here's that rain really swelled up the river so that's going to be a uh, no-go I'm afraid uh, maybe one of these days bring Winston back down here uh, but the day is not the day <laughs> 